Good morning and welcome to St. Matthias Episcopal Church live stream of Palm Sunday. It says in the prayer book, when circumstances permit, the congregation may gather at a place apart from the church. So there we go. We're gathering at a place apart from the church uh, right now. Uh, although it says then, so we can go into the church in procession, but I think we're not going to do that. We're going to, uh, we're going to continue on. We're going to try to do hopefully this live stream. The bishop has, has said when we are sheltered in space, then uh, we're not having services in the church. So we'll try to have service here. We'll do the best we can. We're doing Facebook Live. We're also doing recording it um, in case that doesn't work very well to be placed on YouTube later on. I'm going to get continuous little blips at the bottom of here to tell me how good my video is. Uh, and so um, we'll see we'll see how that all works if I can uh, not be distracted through the whole entire service. I've got problems with my production team. Um, but we'll, we're going to begin with the blessing of the palms. Um, and then we'll do uh, morning prayer, uh, and so I will, I'll let you know what the what those are. We begin on page two hundred seventy uh, with the blessing of the palms, but we're going to omit the actual reading of the the triumphal entry passage. That will be our gospel reading later on. So, blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Almighty God, for the acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. On this day he entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph and was proclaimed as King of Kings by those who spread their garments and branches of palm along his way. Let these branches be for us signs of his victory, and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our king and follow him in the ways that leads to eternal life. Who lives and reigns in glory with you in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ, amen. I do hope um, we, we sent out palms to the congregation uh, via the mail. So hopefully you got your blessed palm. We did that same prayer when we, before we sent them out. But if you did not get a palm, or if you would like a palm, then uh, by all means, please... Uh, let us know, and we will we will get palms out to you, um, and you'll be able to have a palm with you right now. So, um, or in a couple days, you can get a palm uh, when we mail them to you. So we continue with uh, morning prayer on page seventy nine of the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, also, just so you know, we're going to be doing Psalm ninety one. Um, and Canticle 13 
and Canticle 16. Those are the canticles that we'll be doing today. I'll announce those, but if you want to set your prayer book, um, that'd be great. So uh, Psalm 9 or Psalm 91, Canticle 13, Canticle 16. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. This time, the peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. You may greet one another in the name of the Lord, and uh, use this time to chat uh, with one another for a couple minutes, and then uh, we'll resume the service. So, peace be with you. So uh, I do welcome you back. Apparently, we're having internet issues here um, today. I keep I, I can see it because it keeps going up and down and up and down. But hopefully, it'll it'll even itself out. Um, as I said, it will be available on on YouTube when we're done with this. Also, um, because a couple of announcements. Uh, this is the beginning of Holy Week, and uh, we'll be having services each day Monday. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I will in, uh, invite you to those. You'll get you'll get a daily thing. We're we're going to try to do uh, a Zoom service maybe uh, to on Monday through Wednesday to, to be able to to gather together at seven o'clock uh, in the evening. If not, they'll be they'll be live like this at seven o'clock. So there'll be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday services will be at seven. Thursday will be at, at 7 as well, the Monday, Thursday service, and then Good Friday will probably go live at noon um, and then be available uh, from then on to you as well. But just a couple of other announcements. The one is that do remind you that we have our YouTube channel, so you can uh, go to that. So if you just go to YouTube and hit in St. Matthias, Episcopal Church, Tacoa, it'll take you right to it. All the videos that we've put on there are there. Uh, the services will be all there as well, recorded, other, other interesting videos. Um, and then also, uh, we, we will have our prayer vigil on Monday, Thursday, but also for Monday, Thursday, and I'll send out something tomorrow about this, but I'm just, we'll put it out there now. It'd be great. Uh, we're gonna try to put a, a video collage a video collage together of everybody uh, doing the foot washing. So if you're able to uh, just take a quick video and, and send it to me, either email it to me or upload it to a Google Drive, I'll give you, I'll give you instructions on how to do it. Uh, but uh, just gather the people in your home, uh, do quick foot washing and, and send it in and we'll, we can put that together and hopefully we'll have a good, a good uh, number of people that we can, we can experience um, that joy of, of uh, sacrifice and servanthood um, all together. Uh, finally, we do have our online giving up and going. Uh, so you can do that by just going to the church, www.tacoachurch.com. 
Also, we have, uh, you can text to give. Uh, so if you, if you text give to this number, 706-222-7535, 706-222-7535, text give, um, and, and that will take you right to the way that you could give online, so that'd be great. 706-222-7535, uh, text give to that, and you can, you can uh, help support our church um, in that light. So um, those are the announcements that I have. As I said, you'll be getting an email probably every day uh, that, that, that will direct you to the service for Holy Week that day and, um, and also some of the other things that we have going. So we'll continue our worship on page 80. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was at the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Say together the Venite, or sing it if you're able. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm pointed for today is Psalm 91. It's found on page 719. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver me from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and a buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me 
and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Zechariah, chapter 9, verses 9 through 12. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. Righteous and having salvation is he. Humble and mounted on a donkey. On a colt, the foal of a donkey. I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem. And the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall speak peace to the nations. His rule shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore you to double. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Respond to the first reading with Canticle 13, found on page 90 of the Book of Common Prayer. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Our second reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. Now when, they, uh, now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a coal, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put them on their cloaks as he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowd that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our canticle is canticle 16. The Song of Zechariah, found on page 92 of the Book of Common Prayer. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies 
from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins and the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Nicene Creed is on page 96, or the, sorry, the Apostles' Creed is on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and a life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. I invite your prayers and intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. Lord, we pray for bandwidth in this home. Come and, and bless the people who are watching. Lord, we pray for this pandemic, for the doctors, for the nurses, for those who are sick, for those who are suffering. Lord, 
Lord, we pray for all those on our parish prayer list. We offer them to you. Lord, we pray for our parish during this time, for the church, for all churches as they seek to celebrate Holy Week in new ways, in difficult ways. Draw us to you, the King of kings and Lord of lords. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I do uh, hope that, that this sermon goes without, without too many uh, distractions and, and blips and cutouts. Um, today is indeed Palm Sunday. And oftentimes in the church, we, we tend to, uh, the way the service is set up normally, we have Palm Sunday, we, we, we dance with palms, we process around into uh, the church, and then immediately after all glory, laud, and honor is sung, we go straight into Good Friday. Um, we do the Passion reading, and we, we, uh, we, we skip much of what Palm Sunday is. And, and a lot of reasons we do that is to make sure that, that people can go through all of Holy Week um, without coming to Easter if you just come on, on Sunday. But, but so I encourage you this week to walk um, in the steps of, of Jesus, to walk through the passion, uh, to come and to, and to truly be present uh, with, with God and, and with Jesus and move from uh, this Palm Sunday into, into the cross and ultimately to the joy of Easter. Uh, so that would be my hope uh, and my prayer for, for all of you, um, that, you would, that you indeed would walk through this, this whole week. We'll have services each week. Hopefully they'll be, they'll be a little better than this service as far as, as, far as things go, but um, that indeed we'll, we will we'll worship together. So today um, is, is Palm Sunday. And uh, one of the things that, that today is, is, is not just Jesus fulfilling a prophecy that he's going to come in on a cult, which, which, of course, which of course he does, uh, but it's to the, to the cry, to the shout, to the excitement of the people. Hosanna, uh, spreading branches of palm means this is, this is a sign of victory. Um, this is, in some ways, a sign of revolution. There's not a, there's, there's no, there's no, um, the, the reality of, of, of Jesus coming in and, and, and stirring up the people. When it says the people were, were stirred up, the religious leaders were stirred up, um, Jerusalem was stirred up, um, is, reminds us of the very beginning of Matthew's gospel after Jesus is born when when all of Jerusalem was troubled that there was a new king. Well, all of Jerusalem wasn't troubled that there was a new king. Those who were in power were troubled that there was a new king. Um, and, and Jesus coming into the city as the Messiah, the Christ, those who are in power are troubled again. They're, they're worried, they're concerned, they're afraid of this new king, this new Messiah, this new um, regime that's coming, that's coming forth that may upset everything. But the people are, are excited. The people can't, are, you know, they're throwing branches of palm, which, which go back to the, the Maccabees and signs of, of victory and signs of might and signs of, of celebration. And they shout Hosanna, which means save us. Hosanna. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. So we have Jesus as the king of kings, Lord of lords, entering into, into uh, 
the city of Jerusalem, with the people crying out, shouting out, praising uh, Jesus. And, and on this day, um, which, which these, these branches of palm sort of signify revolution, as I said, sort of signify military might and victory, um, it it's, it's, shouldn't be lost that, that Jesus is not just coming into the city as, as king, he's coming into the city on the day um, which when, when all of, of the Jewish people in Israel celebrate the Passover later in the week, he comes in on Lamb Selection Day. Uh, this is the day when, when all the families would, would choose their lamb for the Passover feast, choose their lamb to sacrifice. And Jesus coming in to the city on this day as, as king not only marks the, the prophecy of, uh, from Zechariah that the king would come in on a colt, that a king would come in on the foal of a donkey, that, that he'd come in to signs of rejoicing, that this is how the king comes in. But he, would, but he indeed would, he indeed not only is the king, he is the lamb that takes away the sin of the world. That this is the lamb that God has chosen for us to be sacrificed for us on Good Friday, to be the Passover lamb to be that one sacrifice that we no longer sacrifice anymore. The only sacrifice we have is the sacrifice of the altar. I'm pointing as if we had bread and wine there and it was an altar, but we can use our imagination, right? Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. God has chosen him this day. And Jesus Christ is King of kings and Lord of lords coming in to Jerusalem indeed to start a revolution, but not a, a military revolution, but a revolution of, of promise, of hope, of healing, of strength, of joy. This is the promise that, 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 that God has brought forth, that Jesus brings forth into the lives of the people. And of course, it's, we know how quickly the people turn. Today is Sunday. Today they shout, Hosanna, save us. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. By Friday, it's crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. But we have that kind of a king. A king who's come to give himself. A king who's come to bring forth revolution, not against Rome, but a revolution against sin and death and Satan and sickness and plight. So Hosanna. If there's any day that we should shout, Hosanna, it's today. Save us, Jesus. Save us from our sins. Save us from this pandemic. Save us from all that is happening to us. Save us from this technology. Save us from, from the things that corrupt, the things that distract, the things that detract. Save us, Lord Jesus. I pray indeed that, that you might draw near to the love of Christ and Jesus, that he may save you that he may save us. I pray that we may walk with him throughout this week in love and grace and draw near to the cross of Christ. For it is there where the true victory takes place. It's there which the true branches of palm are waved. For it is on the cross that victory is won leading us to Easter morn next week. Amen. Let's say together the general thanksgiving on page 
page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are going to continue with the uh, Eucharistic adoration. Um, is, that okay? is it okay on this one right now? Okay. I was just gonna I was gonna turn it off and put it in my phone if I thought it was if I thought it was better, but um, I think we'll we'll try to stick right here this way. Um, so once again, if you weren't with us last week, um, we do have uh, the the sacrament uh, on the altar um, in the body and, and blood of Jesus, and so uh, but but for us we have the body um, here with us, the presence of Jesus. So we will do. The Eucharistic Adoration, um, you're welcome to stick around with that. The, I, I sent out a link that had the, the service for that if you want to follow along, but it's very, you don't have to. It's a very simple um, service of, of meditation. And even, even when uh, we can't receive uh, the sacrament, we can be blessed by the sacrament. So I invite you to, to stay with us if you desire. Thanks to the ascent. 
continue with the litany of the Blessed Sacrament. God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Jesus, Word of God incarnate, we adore you. Holy Jesus, Son of God and Mary, we adore you. Holy Jesus, whom the heavens cannot contain, we adore you. Holy Jesus, present on the altar, we adore you. Holy Jesus, adored by the heavenly hosts, we adore you. Holy Jesus, ready to hear our prayers, we adore you. Holy Jesus, veiling your glory that we may draw near you, we adore you. Holy Jesus, both priest and sacrifice, we adore you. Living bread that whoever eats will live forever, evermore give us this bread. Holy Jesus, manna in the wilderness, evermore give us this bread. Holy Jesus, broken bread that feeds the multitude, evermore give us this bread. Holy Jesus, bread that comes down from heaven, evermore give us this bread. Holy Jesus, bread that gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread. Holy Jesus, the good shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep, evermore give us this bread. Holy Jesus, revealed in the breaking of the bread, evermore give us this bread. Holy Jesus, feeding us with your body and blood, evermore give us this bread. For measuring your grace and holiness by our understanding, good Lord, deliver us. From doubts, distractions, and irreverence, Lord, deliver us. From unworthy and unfruitful receiving, Lord, deliver us. From hardness of heart and ingratitude, Lord, deliver us. From lack of loving our neighbors as ourselves, Lord, deliver us. Hear us, Lord, and grant that we may know your presence. Hear us, Lord, that we may acknowledge our dependence on you. Hear us, Lord, that we may seek to know and do your will. Hear us, Lord, that we may recognize every blessing you give us. Hear us, Lord, that we may come to you in repentance for our sins. Hear us, Lord, that we may approach this ineffable mystery with perfect love. Hear us, Lord that by your Spirit we may be re made ready to lead a new life. Hear us, Lord, that we may walk in the way of your commandments. Hear us, Lord, that the wounded and despondent may find healing and hope. Hear us, Lord, that we may see your image in one another. Hear us, Lord, that in the days to come we may stand in your presence. Hear us, Lord. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Therefore we before him bending this great sacrament revere. Types and shadows have their ending, for the newer right is here. Faith our outward sense befriending makes our inward vision clear. Glory let us give and blessing to the Father and the Son. Honor, thanks, and praise addressing while eternal ages run. Ever to his love confessing who from both with both is one.
Thou gavest them bread from heaven, containing in itself all sweetness. Let us pray. O God, who in a wonderful sacrament has left unto us a memorial of thy passion, grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that we may ever perceive within ourselves the fruits of thy redemption, who livest and reignest world without end. Amen. Say together the divine praises, repeating after each line. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity. Blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity. Blessed be God the Father, maker of heaven and earth. Blessed be God the Father, maker of heaven and earth. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ in his death and resurrection. Blessed be Jesus Christ in his death and resurrection. Blessed be Jesus Christ on the throne of glory. Blessed be Jesus Christ on his throne of glory. Blessed be Jesus Christ in the sacrament of his body and blood. Blessed be Jesus Christ in the sacrament of his body and blood. Blessed be God the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life. Blessed be God the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life. Blessed be God and the Virgin Mary, Mother of our God. Blessed be God and the Virgin Mary, Mother of our God. Blessed be God and Saint Joseph, Guardian of the Incarnate Word. Blessed be God and Saint Joseph, Guardian of the Incarnate Word. Blessed be God and His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God and His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. For the closing um, hymn, Psalm. I did. We did forget birthdays, so I want to uh, say uh, happy birthday to those celebrating birthdays this week: Molly Sharp, Paige Flores, India Mann, Cynthia Brown, Reverend Gwen Hanahan, and Scott Brennan. A very special uh, birthday blessing to you. The Lord be with you. Gracious Lord and Heavenly Father, we pray, O oh Lord, for these your servants, that you fill them with your power and your might and your love. Surround them, O oh Lord, by your, by your spirit and by your grace. Fill them, O oh Lord, with your goodness and blessing and anoint them this day and throughout the year. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, also, just to remind you, uh, if you want palms, let us know. Um, email us and we'll get palms to you. Um, and we can just conclude our service today with Psalm 117. Who oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye peoples. For his merciful kindness is ever more and more toward us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us forever adore the most holy sacrament. <laughs>